Hello there. I'm Wendelin Davis, a health nut who is so passionate about helping you create the healthy life you want. We're the author of our story and you are the ones that are writing it. So are you getting the results you want? If not, why not? So that's why I do these to help you learn and to help you figure out what it is you want. Because my friends, it's totally possible. So here's a big one, okay, that I'm pretty sure affects all of us. Chapter 37, people pleasing. How many of you are people pleasers? How many of you say yes when you really mean no? Okay, that's a people pleaser. And it really causes more stress. It's not really in our best interest. And usually it's not necessarily in the best interests of others either. So here is more about people pleasing. People pleasing feels good in the moment. It gives you an adrenaline hit. It's lying to yourself and or the other person. Why is it lying? Because you're saying yes when you really mean no. Um, it's always at your own expense. It can turn into resentment, can feel like an obligation. It drains you of your self-respect and it's trying to control what others think. So when you are people pleasing, why are you doing it? Are you afraid what other people will think of you? Are you afraid to disappoint? There's a lot of fear in there somewhere. So ask yourself, why? Why are you saying yes when you really wish you could say no? Awareness is the key to change. The more we start asking ourselves, hold on a minute, why am I doing this? And do I want to keep doing this? Knowing that you always have a choice. So becoming aware that you're a people pleaser is the first step in change. And it's learning to stop obsessing about what others are thinking and to start asking yourself, what do I think? Because that's where you get your power back. That's where you start choosing you and making it a win-win. Okay. So it's learning to say yes when you mean yes and no when you mean no. It's knowing that you are valuable. So one of the clients I was talking to today was saying, um, this is life-changing, that she is realizing that, wait, I'm valuable. All these years of pleasing, all these years of doing different, of doing things, um, for others, yes, that's good, but it's because you're, she was thinking that she's not valuable and you got to do all these things to feel good about yourself. Okay. She said, um, what'd she say? It's like digging up the concrete and not the dirt. Okay. So this is a foundation of her life. She no longer wants to be a people pleaser because she's learned she's valuable. She's learning to trust herself. She's planning. She's showing up for herself step by step by step by step. Um, so that is a lot, right? Try to think about digging up that concrete. That's a lot of work. It's uncomfortable at times. It's exhausting. But the results that she's thinking about of that new concrete in, a, in the new her, it's so worth the work. You are so worth the work. If this is hard for you, figure out why. Figure out if you want to keep doing this. Figure out how this is benefiting you. And do you want to do something different? Another client today, he said, peer pressure is hard at his work. Um, you get taken out to lunch. Don't want to say no. And usually it's where the other person wants to take you. And sometimes it's the last minute. You don't have the time to look ahead to see what food's available. Or you go when you're super hungry and you eat whatever. Um, but... Um, what do you say the other night, his boss was with him and after their day at work, um, he's just like, Hey, let's go out to eat. And the client got the courage and he said, um, I already have plans to go to the gym. Would you like to come? And so no, thank you. Okay. He was uncomfortable, but in the long run, he definitely felt better and he's building more confidence. 
So the next time somebody asks him to go out to lunch or dinner when he already brought his lunch or he has plans already, he's going to be able to say, well, he's going to check in, right? Learning to check in and be able to say yes or no, depending on his situation and if it's a win-win for him. Okay, so remember, you always have a choice. Always. You can go on autopilot and create more stress because people pleasing is stressful or you can work on your new habits and have less stress. Always a choice. Um, and I like this reminder. Number one, like um, our client found she is valuable. You are valuable. I am valuable. And it's learning to love yourself enough to tell the truth. No more lying to try to make others think a certain way about you. You don't need other people to feel good about yourself. It's learning to love yourself exactly where you are for who you are and trusting that things work out because they do. Let people think what they're going to think. And just a side note, what other people think about you is 100% about them. Okay, let that sink in. You cannot make people think a certain way about you. What other people think about you is about them. Okay, so now you're armed with more knowledge to create a new you who is full of value and full of love for you and for others. One step at a time, increase your awareness, check in, learn to say no when you need to and be uncomfortable and it's okay. Because in that moment of uncomfortable, um, know that long-term, you'll feel so much better. And that, again, remember, primitive brain wants what it wants now. It's full of excuses. Use your prefrontal cortex, um, planning for your future. Okay, so the choice is yours. Check in with yourself. You got this. Bye.